welcome to microbiology review series make sure you subscribe so that you can get the uh, notifications for new videos okay all right so we're going to review the bacterial structure the size uh, dna the organization of the dna the operons how the genes are transcribed and also we're going to discuss about transcription and translation in bacteria okay so but bacteria are very small the size is approximately 0 0.1 to 3 millimicrons and this when you compare to eukaryotic cells such as human cells are, are, are more than 5 millimicrons in size okay so the dna in bacteria is free in the cytoplasm okay in an area called nucleoid make sure you remember that now this this differs from eukaryotes in eukaryotic cells such as human cells the dna is found in the nucleus but in bacteria the dna is found in cytoplasm okay and this DNA is organized in 40 to 50 coiled loops, which are associated uh, with RNA and proteins. And this is very critical. Okay. So it's associated with RNA and proteins. And um, bacteria have operons. So what are operons? Operons are functionally related group of genes, which are tandemly arranged okay and they are co-transcribed to huge polycystronic mrna so multiple gene mrna with multiple genes okay now this is bacteria in eukaryotes the the mrna is monocystronic meaning it only carries one gene okay so in bacteria and because this the 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 DNA is found in the cytoplasm, and cytoplasm has proteins and, and mRNAs. So transcription, which is the making of mRNA, and translation, which is the making of proteins, they occur together. So when this process is being done, okay, the proteins are also being made at the same time, okay? So transcription and translation are coupled in bacteria. This is different from eukaryotes. In eukaryotes, transcription and translation are not coupled. Okay. That's a key point to remember. Now, let's discuss the cytoplasmic uh, membrane. A typical uh, 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 cytoplasmic membrane is, is a lipid bilayer. Okay, so most uh, membranes, cytoplasmic membranes, are lipid bilayers. Okay, and you know lipids usually they are hydrophobic, so they they they, they protect the the inner environment of uh, of the cell. And the cytoplasmic membrane contains enzymes for cell wall synthesis. Uh, in fragella. The fragella are made of protein called fragilin, which which are different from um, the fragella of eukaryotes. So fragella of eukaryotes have microtubules. So those are differences you're supposed to know. Now fimbrile or pili, okay. The the singular is pilus. They are very important virulence factors. Okay, for bacteria. Now, virulence means how well a, a microbe is able to, to uh, affect or infect the, the host, okay? So, bacteria have virulence factors, viruses have virulence factors. So, virulence does not mean only for bacteria, but vir virulence can mean for bacteria, viruses, fungus so microbes in general okay so don't don't be confused for that 
uh, with that. Now, the, the fimbrile, they are fine hair-like structures. Okay, they are thinner than fragella. They are composed of subunits of protein called peeling. Okay, and the fimbrile tend to, to be found only in gram negative bacteria. And the fimbrile tips contain adherence factors called adhesion. So the pili or pili or fimbrile. They are very important for bacterial adhesion to the host. Okay? That's why they are very important for virulence. Okay? So make sure you remember that. And now uh, the cell wall of bacteria. The cell wall protects the bacteria against osmotic lysis. As I mentioned, okay? So the cell wall, the cell membrane, they, are, they, they have certain structures that repel water so they prevent osmo uh, osmotic lysis okay act as a cage around the cell and it protects against host defense mechanisms okay so the cell wall protects the, the, the bacteria from host defenses okay and shields the cell against antimicrobial substances such as antibiotics, okay, which would lyse the cell. And primarily, the cell wall is composed of peptoglycan. Peptoglycan, and unique to bacteria, peptoglycan unique to bacteria, and is the most important part of the cell wall, okay. Make sure you remember that. Very important point. Okay. So, the uh, next we're going to talk about the, the, the second series. We're going to talk about the peptoglycan. Okay. Make sure you click subscribe so you can get uh, the, um, the updates uh, and notification for the new videos. All right. Okay. So, if you have any questions, please, uh, you can email me. Okay, or comment on the videos.